I say, old chap, do you remember the day when two blind mice took over? Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio, the podcast for men and women, leaders, entrepreneurs, and leaderpreneurs desiring to know the specialties and soft skills of the strenuous life. Hello, welcome to the strenuous life. Uh, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you the reason why I called this the, the day two blind mice took over. Alright? Listen to me. Keith came in the 6th of February of 1997. Five days later, it was the 11th of February. Um, Chris, my ex-wife, was fixing dinner. We were engaged at the time. She was fixing Frito pie. Almost the way I liked it. But it was good. And then afterwards, we sat down and listened to a network marketing tape. And then afterwards, when Chris left to return back to her home, he came to me and he said, Jimmy, I see why you want to go into your own business. He said, four months ago, I was, I was skeptical. I told you that for you to go into business yourself that way is stupid. He said, but now I see the logic. Because, see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about my, my, B, my late BFE. He always warned me since 1993 to try new things. Why, shoot, he wanted me to try roller coasters and spin around rides that turn me upside down and stuff, you know? Thank God to Julie that it really didn't happen because she and Keith had a falling out. I mean, I was hurt at first, but then I think, uh, well, shoot, with all my stuff, Julie might have saved my life. I mean, I know I put her among the class of friends that in some ways blocked my progression, because that's the way Keith and I saw it. But in this instance, even though she went about it the wrong way, she was right. But I digress. When I went into my first network marketing entrepreneurial venture, Keith thought that I was loony. I, I'm thinking he was thinking, Jimmy, you lost your marbles. Because I would sit up look, looking at the business catalog for, you know, the different products and get all excited. Jimmy, what in the world? Have you lost your marbles? What the heck's going on with you? But then that night, the 6th, no, not the 6th. The 11th of February, and that next morning, the 12th, he told me he felt like I was on, on, on the verge of success. And he gave me that pep talk when I came back from my two classes that day. It was, it was something, I tell you what, it was something being, being there with Keith. And him encouraging me, you know, because we, we started really talking. We, we had plans. We were going to purchase a lake house somewhere near Lubbock, you know, or, or get one built. And, and live together. Of course, Chris wanted Keith to have a separate part of the house. And to tell you the truth... <laughs> That just wasn't ideal for me. I really wanted in my heart of hearts for Keith to live near me. To catch the entrepreneur vision. To know that he's got a best buddy that wanted to take care of him. To look after him. That's the thing. Entrepreneurs do what they can to look after their friends. Entrepreneurs associate with the right people. If you go to Empower Your Pattern, I got I just uploaded an, uh, an episode, um, a couple of episodes, uh, episode 78 and 79, the Associations Key and the um, Wise Counsel Key in my Trapped in the Negative series, you'll see how important this is for you to begin to grasp. But February the 11th 
1997, my brother's 22nd birthday, was the day where for over six years, two blind mice took over. Keith was the one that gave me the entrepreneurial vision. Keith was the one that was right behind me. I remember in 1995, I came home for the summer of 1995 thinking maybe I'd quit. I'd quit school. Or maybe go to back to the college at home and take care of my grandmother. Well, my grandmother's like, oh, James, don't you quit. I want you to finish at Texas Tech. And Keith would tell me, now, Jimmy, you know, you know your grandma's right. And, you know, when I would sound all defeatist, do I have to all, come all the way to Lubbock and, do I have to come all the way up to Lubbock to kick your rear? Do I have to do that? Because you ain't giving up. Of course, there was a graduation in 1997. Unfortunately, Keith wasn't able to attend. But it was just, sadly, it was just a walk. But in a way, I'm glad it was just a walk. Because when I received that diploma, my buddy Keith was there, and we celebrated in style. I'm talking about two blind mice took out take over time. 